Alright, so uh, let's have a look at how you can use enumerations to build an interactive uh, report page. We will start in defining the enumerations we want to use in our uh, report page. And so we will define some page parameters. Let's suggest, or let's suppose we will use um, as a first thing, we want to search for work item type. And as I'm lazy, I just want to use a short label here. Um, Polarin will automatically update the ID field with a label value. I recommend that you use camel case here. Uh, so start with a small letter and then with a capital one. Below you can see the scope. The scope actually defines where Polarin is searching for the configuration. So currently it's checking the drive pilot example project for the work item types defined there. If you want to search for item types defined globally, you would need to switch for repository scope. For now, we are fine in using um, the drive pilot example. So here are the work item types and the enumeration we want to use is actually the work item type enumeration. So somehow it's a bit strange that you can I mean that you have here work item types and here you can select all and then again you need to define the enumeration but that's the enumeration part that's really the important thing that's where you define where Polarion is taking the enumeration values from so this will be the list the user can select from now the only thing we need to add is if it should be multiple values let's suppose the user can select multiple work item types and if we allow the user to use no values, so let's say if there are no values, all items should be displayed, uh, all item types. And I think in this parameter, it would make sense to allow also no values. So let's take this as the first one. And already here, we can define a default value. So let's say system requirement should be the default value for our report. So I just pick it from here, double click on it and it will be available here as the first value for our parameter. Let's take as a second option here, the again an enumeration value, but this time I would like to choose the status. So we want to filter for work items and status they are in. Again, I don't want to limit the filter here, and I will just pick status as enumeration. Again, multiple values, and again, we would allow no values. And maybe we say uh, default should be draft. And so now we have defined, let's say, the first set of parameters that we want to use or that we want to provide to the user uh, in this report as an interactive piece. Um, we will switch to widgets and add a page parameter block. Unfortunately, you cannot use multiple page parameter blocks within one page. Um, so you cannot do like a bit on the left side, a bit on the right side. Everything has to be in, in one block. You can provide a title, but I actually find it more convenient to have here um, a heading. Um, but that's what you like more, what, what you find looks better. And now let's pick work item type and status as parameters for this table block because only those who have selected here as parameters will be visible to the user. The other ones are still there but maybe you have some parameters who are not, uh, which are not um, selectable by the user but which you still need in your query um, and so by selecting the parameters and adding them to the page parameter block they can be changed by the user directly in the report. So now we have the, um, the, the, the parameters defined and the next thing should be the report. And so we will pick one of the widgets and I will pick the table block. And a thing we, we or I, a thing I very often forget is the, the query type. So please take care always to switch to velocity 
because only velocity um, allows us to access the page parameter object which contains the values. Um, so as you may know, in velocity objects can be accessed or are defined by these dollar and then the name of the object. So page parameter gives us, actually page parameters, um, gives us the object which contains all the values and um, parameters we have defined. And then you provide a dot and after the dot you name the ID of your parameter. So we have wi type. And then there are a bunch of functions that you can use. A, a very great function is the toulousine, um, because then uh, this function gives you back um, a lucene friendly syntax uh, to be used in Polarian queries. So in many cases, you can just use this toulousine function and you will get the nice um, result. However, our query is not yet finished. This is the, the, the velocity part, which gives us the values. Uh, as you know, in Polarian, we need to define the ID and then a colon to have the correct query. So for work item types, it would be type, colon, and then the type of the work item, which is now our dynamic piece. Unfortunately, um, this is not all, because um, what if this this um, value is empty and it can happen because we have allowed also to provide empty values and so in this case we must check for empty values and in Lucene this is done with um, a little if statement in front so we say if not this is the exclamation mark and then we say if not page parameters dot uh, what is it again? Wi type is empty. So if it is not empty, only in this case we will use the query. Let me just check. I think this is a bracket too much. We will use the query and in the scene we need to close the if statement with an end. That's all we need to do. And once you have this uh, this line, you can just repeat it for all the parameters that you want to check. But we need to change for sure the parameter ID, which is status. And page parameters, status to the scene. And we need to change here the query part of Polarian. Now we want to search and filter for status. That should do the job if we have not made any mistakes. And as you can see, somehow strange, we still find approved work items, even if we have said, have defined draft here. The problem is, here I forgot a little and operator. Now these two queries are combined with an and, and hopefully this will work. However, this is not nice because if the second query uh, is empty, we have an and at the end of our statement, which is not correct. So we should add the AND actually here before the second statement. So if the second uh, parameter, if the status parameter has a value, we just add AND status and uh, corresponding value. And hopefully now, oh, looks better. Uh, it seems that we don't have any draft uh, system requirements in the project. So let's save it and verify that our dynamic enumeration report does what it should do and to to check that let's change here the status to approved and remove the draft and apply it there we go and as you can see here there's a little save as default this actually saves the default values and overwrites the page parameters that we have defined, uh, the, the default values we have defined for the page parameters. So if we go back to our page parameters now and we switch to page parameters, you see this is the value now replaced by the user.